I'm Ollie. And I'm Tom. And welcome to Chew the Fat. We'll be taking in everything from fine dining to down and dirty. We have it all. We certainly do. And we're starting here at the magnificent Mandarin Oriental, home to Barbalut. Let's check it out. Yeah. So we're here. Barbalut. Tom, I couldn't be more excited. What makes this place so special? Well, this is the great chef Daniel Balud's Bistro Deluxe. He does a lot of very high-end tasting menus, Michelin stars. This is much more relaxed. This is about really good regional French food, an amazing menu, and a wonderful burger. You know what I think makes it so special? <laughs> they have massive <laughs> bottles of wine. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and they open them up. Yeah, look at this one. Oh, it did a little wine guff. <laughs> right, this is a juicy Hungarian beauty. <laughs> it's 20 litres, which to anyone else is called a Solomon. It's one a of the biggest Solomon. ones. Is that the biggest you can get? It's really heavy. I think that's all I could get out for you. Somebody somewhere will have a bigger bottle. There's always a bigger bottle. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> I need to go back to the gym. That though, I just think it's perfect with a burger. Nice and juicy. Cracking value for money. And when it's served in a massive bottle, what a laugh. Ooh. There's theatre to the Magnum, isn't there? My dad, it was his 80th after Christmas. Double Magnum <laughs> on the table. You know what that is? Magnum Force. <laughs> Love it. Lock and load. <laughs> the wine hose. <laughs> I'm gonna take that home. We're here for burgers, and first of all, the BB burger. We have a beef patty. Good quality beef, lots of fat, very important. Short ribs, slow cooked. Foie gras, yeah, controversial. Horseradish mayo, comfy tomato, and black onion cedar bun. This is a very posh burger. Perverts. Everything is made here. You'd expect it for Daniel Pullard joint. Um, even the bun, made here, the dough, baked here fresh every day. This is why you're paying 24 pounds for a burger. Now, the BB burger is one thing. I'm a purist when it comes to burgers. Mm. I want bun, I want patty, lettuce, tomato, pickles, cheese, maybe, maybe just a bit of bacon. That's it. No mucking around with sort of posh bits and pieces. So we have the BB burger. Uh, for £24, and the Yankee burger for a very, very reasonable £16. It sounds like we should order one of each. Well, we should pit them against each other. Put them in. This is where it ends. Like gladiator. Yeah, make them fight in a pit for our pleasure. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> but burger off. The burger off. Hmm. Gents, what can I get you? Could we possibly get one BB burger, please? Indeed. And one Yankee burger. That's a great choice. And with the Yankee burger, as rare as you can make it, please. My pleasure. You're filthy. You're absolutely filthy. Thank you very much. Rare as you dare. There's also Rare as you dare. You need a burger rare. We've done the burger. Now it's time to move over to the equally important part, the wine. Yeah, I do love wine with a burger. Here, we've got our Hungarian juicy one. It's a blend of Kek Frankosh and other kind of noble Hungarian grapes. They actually call it the bull's blood of Eger. It comes from Eger. It gets its name because the local townsfolk repelled some Ottomans. And with all the wine streaking through their beard to inspire them to fight, <laughs> the Turkish people thought, these people are drinking blood. Ah, and they ran a mile. So wine wins the day, yet again. So it's, a burger can take all sorts. Of wines. This is exactly it. So you can choose. If you're having a really densely packed, you know, steaky type burger, Cabernet Sauvignon, fantastic, great. Bordeaux, wonderful. But I prefer, generally speaking, when you think of the squishy, juicy texture of a burger, I really enjoy soft, hearty, romping Mediterranean reds and Portugal, hard to beat. How do they build a great burger? I think if you're charging over 20 quid for a burger, or 16 for the, for the classic burger, they're building it like they're building a wonderful pagoda, or, or, or maybe a, a drive-in diner, but very high-end. A tower of taste. A tower of taste, Ollie, exactly. It is a work of art when they're building a burger like this. Let's eat some art. Something's happening. Ah, oh, ah. Thank you. Oh, my Famous. word. Wow. BB Burger. Thank you, chef. And for you, our classic. Yankee burger with cheese. Thank you very much, Chef. What a lovely. Thank you. Amazing. That looks great. I like that your filth is oozing out of it. You've gone for cheese. That's a win. I've gone for cheese. There's a lot going on in your burger. It's a big brute. It looks quite naughty, doesn't it? It does look naughty. I feel that that's going to be... Uh, it looks damn good. A lot going on. I mean, it looks like a sort of capital city of absolute filth. Could you fit that in your mouth in one go? <laughs> no, I don't think I can. I'm going to try. How do you do it? I could get mine in my mouth. Do you reckon? Yeah, squeeze it down. Oh, so squeeze, okay, because normally I, I, I'm a knife and fork man, which I know is sacrilege to you. Yeah, I think, I think, I think our French is going to change. It's our first tiff, isn't it? Yeah. And... Oh, my God. 
upside down. How is it? <laughs> Good lord. It's a proper burger. Good quality, wonderful beef, the right amount of fat for juiciness, the tang of the pickle, the smother of the cheese, the crunch of the tomato and lettuce, and the softness of the bun. A masterpiece. You stuffed it in your face really impressively. I just don't think I can do it. I'm nervous. Because I love you, I'm gonna do this. But Yours is much bigger than mine as well, you know that. It's been said before. <laughs> right, it's bulging out. Oh, it's not just the burger that's bulging out. Mm, my word. Very dainty. Mm. Well, how's that? But it's scrumptious. It's, do you know what it is? It's an essay in indulgence. It's silky. The burger is dense, but it is beautifully layered with flavor, and the beef quality is off the chart. I love the bun, actually, as well. Well, I say that mine is definitely the classic, and I like it simple. It's got really good beef, soft bun, good cheese, and the crisp crunch of lettuce. Yours is very different. It's, it's a gourmet burger. Um, it's the fried one, the short rib. It's wonderful, but for me, this is the classic burger. You know, you're the best man I know for ordering burgers. Oh. Cheers, honey. Cheers. Next time on Chew the Fat, we're on our way to McDonald's. Oh. <laughs> oh. You've made yourself a home. I feel, I, feel, I feel a little embarrassed, but not too bad. Yeah. Everyone's going into space. Let's eat space food.